Um, now, <laughs> Janet, uh, you have got a little bit of a neighbourhood dilemma going on, haven't you? Now, we were talking about it earlier on and, you know, you were describing what was happening. Well, I came back from my holiday last Friday. <clears throat> Sorry, last Saturday morning, really, really early in the morning because I came back from uh, Scotland on a sleeper train. And I, outside my house, there's a giant removal lorry and uh, next to it was my car with a parking ticket on it. So I did not go home in a good mood. <laughs> I opened my door and in the back garden next to mine were my new neighbours with their small baby and um, they put up a, a plastic kind of um, slide in... It's called a slide. Line. Slide, yeah. yeah that's yeah. I see. I'm little children oh, slide down. Yeah. When it comes to little children. And I'm afraid I was pretty horrible. Um, so if you're watching, posh neighbours, I'd like to apologise right now because I opened my back door and I went, you, did you suspend the parking bay? <laughs> <laughs> and the bloke went, well, I thought the um, removal men had told everyone. Uh, and I was really hacked off, so I was the nasty neighbour. And then when they were all in the garden cooing over the baby and I was trying to write something, I'm afraid I did bang my door shut. So, you know... You are the neighbour from, the neighbor from hell. hell. Well, Actually. I'm trying to write, I'm trying to concentrate, I like silence, all right, I live in a city, but it's that dilemma with neighbours. And the baby's playing in the garden, what's wrong with that? Oh, and I've got to look at yellow plastic through my lovely shrubs and... Build rocks. a higher wall, love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're not. I'm, I'm glad you're not living next to me, Janet, because we're not very popular with our neighbours. Obviously, we've got Vera. She's still a puppy, and I have to take her out for her last wee at around ten o'clock. Well, she's five months now, and she's found her voice. So anything that moves at night, she barks and she barks, and I'm trying to control her. And our neighbour the other day he opened the window, and I don't care if he's watching. And he opened the window and he went, "Can you please keep that dog quiet and make sure it goes for a wee earlier?" Can I just well, say, 10.30 is quite late for a dog to be bark barking, especially if they've got children and the children are asleep or whatever. I feel sorry for them. Can't yeah, you let the dog out a little bit children. earlier or take the dog for a I, walk? I live in a street. There are no children next door to me. And stop it because it's a little puppy and she's learning. She's just found a voice. So stop having a go, Linda Robson. I'm just saying, quite 10.30 <laughs> is quite late to be letting a dog uh, bark. I, I agree with Linda. Thank you. I agree with Linda on this, but I do... I do think that what annoys me late at night, and it's not going to be my new neighbours with their little baby, late at night, what annoys me are the people two doors down, <laughs> friends of <laughs> Boris Johnson, <laughs> who've got that brain public school voice of entitlement <laughs> as they sit in their back garden with their expensive garden heater discussing things as those voices that carry... <laughs> Far louder than my working class voice. <laughs> so what I do is open my bathroom window and I shout out, shut up! Some of us working class people have to work in the morning. <laughs> yeah, from your billion pound ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Well, I'm sure they'll be in touch. Apologies all round. All round, all round, all right. <laughs>